Little rain day project. Eddie was late again today, oh, putting them on God. blast. Dad's been on time every day of his life. Just gonna beef up these columns. We're gonna give them a big old concrete wall to run into, Chad, and see if they can take that down. Yeah. If anybody can do it, it could be John. <laughs> okay. Now you need to uh, cut some rebar. Okay. Uh, you're on it, right? Okay, so our concrete's gonna be three foot six. So I'm thinking if you cut the bars at three foot six and you drive them three inches in, they'll be three inches below the surface. So I think that's going be a good start. Maybe cutting these three and a half inches short and then running a continuous band this way so that way you won't see the upward strips. Hmm. Never see it. Could a happy medium. Well, you could probably handle that on this one. You think you could start doing the same thing on this pole and I'll start building the box? Start wrapping this with felt. The other thing we talked about was throwing a couple lags into this guy. Hey, Dave. Hey, sorry to bug you again. No problem. Nope. Hey, did we decide that we wanted to put the galvanized lags uh, through the felt into these wooden ones? You want? I did get some in case we wanted yes. to do that. Yes. So then just put put a couple in each side or something. Yeah. Yeah. Just. Yes, yes. Yep. All right. I might have just dug too deep right there. You go through it? It might. It went pretty soft. Where's the hammer? I barely hit it. At least it doesn't feel loose. I mean, that one feels loose. There's still bite. Yeah. It felt like that went through too. You can make another one like that. It'll be okay. And then put the if the if you have a long tail that way, put it that way. <laughs> Get to work. And then I had some like crazy dessert. Oh, dude, yeah, it's, the steak was good. Lobster was okay. Have you been to a Texas Roadhouse? Uh, I don't think so. They have one in Medford, dude. We went on my woman's birthday. And I had a huge steak, like probably like that. Maybe oh, maybe damn. Like, probably like that thick. It was fire, dude. I ate almost the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I was rolling in the motel room. <laughs> I ate the rest of my life. But yeah, that's probably the best thing I've ever had in my life. You find some more in that other box? Okay, that might hold. Okay, so now back to plumbing that up. Mm -hmm. Too far? Alright. Are you good? It's not bad. And lock it in across each one. Bango to bango. Huh? Chad did it this morning. He loaded the dishwasher this morning? I told them two yards. Can't be much more than two yards, can it? They're three and a half tall. They are two feet wide. And they're 16 inches. Which would be 1.33. 1.33, and then you divide that by 27. So each one of them takes 0 0.34 yards. So you take so you take that and you times it by four. 
Uh, we need 1.4 yards. So one and a half would be plenty. But we're gonna go ahead and order two to make sure. These ones do have a slight little footing on them. Two yards would be ample. I'm gonna get 2% calcium. We might as well just put it in and start get get right to work, right? No, it's a retarder. In. <laughs> we know what we're getting paid here. No, no, no. Come on, man. I got things to do tomorrow. No, it's like an inner tube part. Oh, really? So they like pull you up some lift, and then you come. It's just like one hill, I think. That's cool. But yeah, it's like an inner tube. Well, don't come back broken. Yeah, I might. I guess it's 10th and K? Oh, that's not right. 10th and K, yeah. 10th and K. Yeah, we'll just jump in one of these trucks and follow you there, I guess. He's going to 10th and K right now. Yeah, oh, 7th and K. 7th and K. 8th and K? Oh, we're on 10th right now, though. No, 7th and K, I think, is that what he said? So this is 10th. We need a shovel, man. Oh, man. Looks like me. Break it. <laughs> <laughs> that has sentimental value to it. Sentimental. <laughs> that has been passed down from generation. From Jaeger to Jaeger to Jaeger to Jaeger. Well, you know what that is? That's my lazy ass man. It's jumped the back of the truck out. Yeah. Hey, you're on the money there, bro. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was hard. I knew it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, you got, a, <laughs> you got enough. Bitch. You got enough out of her. <laughs> getting close. I mean, we are pushing it, though. As you can tell, if I keep prying that away, that is almost going to stand up. I think it's not... It's not falling. It's not following the form out. I'm going to get a little braver. Accelerator, so I'm gonna keep pulling that away and see if I can get away with further. I mean, that sucker's standing. Okay, so we're gonna get a little braver. Passed another test. There's a screw somewhere. There was a screw somewhere. Okay, there was a screw. See right there. I think that's where we switched over to the little vibrator. Um, hopefully we have a little mud safe somewhere. 
Yeah, I hope, I hope the other ones don't look like that. That was kind of a failure on the vibration there. At least up top. Yikes! It's because we don't want to look like that. But Actually, uh, on the first one's the only one I'm, I'm looking at so far. Hope that, hopefully, the rest of them are better. But uh, yeah, I'll come over and give you guys a hand. Okay. Just think it's got time. Yeah, sounds good. Becoming a legend right now, Chad. This thing is going to outlive you and your children and your grandchildren. That's very true. The work you put in now will forever be encased in the memories of our ancestors. Well, you guys got the idea. There was a lot of scrubbing involved, but uh, we're pretty much all troweled out. I'm going to, you know, address the tops of these a little bit better and broom it out. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it's not fine. One day I was walking through the Walmart or the one of the two things just flying by on one of the electric scooters. Without smoke. Sweet. Oh, you're going to have to show me the leakage. Yeah. Friday, someone's calling me. 
see what happens next week. They've got one of these forecasts where 50% chance of rain every single day. Uh, it just tells you they don't know what it's going to do. have to wait and see, but it makes it extremely hard to really plan anything. Uh, man, that's a lot of work. Sometimes, you know, a little two-yard pour ends up being a workout. What do you guys think? Completely unnecessary or worth it? I mean, to me, which ultimately it's my decision, it's worth it. Does it matter? Probably not. important to me so in in that aspect it matters uh, I, I don't know man the internet is a it's a weird place I'm kind of putting myself out there you know, and I'm just you know I'm gonna do my best to just you know show reality I'll bring you along and show you the jobs that I'm doing and the work that I'm doing and the quality that I put out there and you know not every job is going to be my best job ever but you know I think you know hopefully there's some entertainment value you know hopefully you can learn something or pick up a tip or a trick you know half the time I watch guys doing concrete that's that's kind of why like maybe there's something I haven't thought of maybe this guy has thought of something that I haven't thought of that can can take me to the next level and I have been doing it for a long time. I've been doing it for, you know, over 20 years. And so I might have a trick or two that I've come up with that you haven't thought of yet. And so well, I can bring someone else up to the next level. Uh, you know, I mean, ultimately you got to put in the work, you know, and a, a lot of it is effort. How much effort are you willing to put in? You know, but concrete is one of those things that, it isn't always the case because if it's a windy day and a hot day and you're just doing everything you can to get it good enough I mean you know, sometimes it takes all of your effort just to do a mediocre job you know which is the harsh reality of it but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a tough job Uh, here's the coast. I don't know if you can see that. Call this South Beach. You know, I've lived here a long time, pretty much 40, 42 years or something. I lived here when I was a baby. I'm gonna just keep trying to upload uh, videos. I'm gonna shoot, you know, when I'm working more to go um, two videos a week. It's kind of my goal. Maybe like Wednesdays and Sundays, you know. But if it's rainy and we're kind of having a few days off here and there, I might only pump out uh, one video like Sunday night. But, uh, that's that's my goal. And like I said, any feedback would be welcome. I'm partly doing it just to kind of show my kids, like, man, you can you can do anything you put your mind to and and if you put in the work because this is a lot of extra work but you know i got kids and you know they're like hey i want to be a youtuber or this or that and it's like dude it's hard but don't get discouraged like you can do it kid well, you know and uh you can do it if you try let's try let me try duck what are you doing hey what are you doing? Get me on. Dodge Wake. Uh oh, I gotta stop the gate before it goes. What are you doing? Get in there. Get in there, duck. His name is Dodge, but he kind of got nicknamed Duck. Alright, he's out. <laughs>